hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about css transition property so in css we can use the transition property and the transition property allows to change property values smoothly over a given duration of time like an example we have one div and the div has the width height and the background property now we can use the div colon hover so whenever we hover our mouse over the element then we want the width to change to 200 pixel so you can see whenever we put our mouse over the div element then the width of the div changes from 100 pixel to 200 pixel and you can see the changes is happening so suddenly now to have the smooth transition of this change we can use the transition property now to have the transition there are two things we need to specify first of all the property we wanted to add the transition so we want the width to change smoothly and secondly we have to specify the time it will take to smoothly change from 100 pixel to 200 pixel so now if we put our mouse over the element so you can see now the width is changing from 100 to 200 pixel in 2 seconds so now it is happening smoothly and also we can smoothly change several property values at the same time like an example we have the height of 100 pixel also we can change the height of the element to 300 pixel so we wanted to smoothly change the height from 100 pixel to 300 pixel so we have to add that to the transition property so we're going to use comma and the property is height so we want the height to change smoothly and we want the change to happen in two seconds so whenever we put our mouse over the element you can see the width is changing in two seconds and also the height is changing in two seconds and there are some other transition property like in example we have the transition timing function so the transition timing function property specifies the speed curve of the transition effect so it can have the value as is so the is transition function will start the transition slowly then it will fast up and then it will end slowly and also we have the linear so the linear timing function will have the same speed from the start to the end and also we have the is in timing function so the is in will start the transition slowly and also we have is out so the is out will end the transition slowly and also we can use is in out so the is in and out timing function will start and end the transition slowly and also we have the transition delay property so the transition delay property specifies a delay for the transition to happen like an example we can set the delay of one second so now the transition will start after the delay of one second and also we can combine the transition property with the transformation like an example we can add one transformation to the div element so we want it to rotate 90 degree so you can see whenever we put our mouse over the element the rotation is happening but it is happening so suddenly now to have the smooth transition we can add it to the transition property so we are going to use comma and then we want the transform to happen in two seconds so you can see now the transformation is also happening smoothly over the duration of two seconds now also we can use the shorthand transition property and we can specify all of those properties in just one simple transition property so here first of all we have to specify the transition property like width then the transition duration like two seconds then the transition timing function like linear and then the delay of the transition like 0.5 seconds this way also we can add the transition to the height and also we can set the transition to the transform property so this is the way we can use the css transition property which allows us to change the property values smoothly 
over a given duration of time. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.